guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, Layla's Lavish Luxuries. I'm so happy to have you here with me today to do another video. Um, I've been doing a lot of videos lately. I've just been going and getting makeup and getting makeup to review. So um, today I'm going to be reviewing this Milani Gilded Twilight Palette. Um, it says smoky grays, twinkling metallics, and deep purples, undeniably gilded. And it also says hyper pigmented eyeshadow palette. And this is what it looks like. It's gorgeous. It's got metallics. It's got a few masks. It's got some glitters. So this is what I'm going to be playing with today. So I'm going to start by priming my face. Going in using the Hard Candy Perfecting Primer. It supposedly uh, is a 12 hour formula and line reducer. For, uh, for foundation, I will be going in with my favorite foundation, uh, the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour high coverage foundation. I love this foundation because it's thin, it's not thick, but yet it's full coverage. And it feels lightweight on the skin and it does have good staying power. And with my oily skin, it definitely does not break up here uh, or here where I get my oily areas. Foundations on, next is concealer. I'm gonna be using my Almost Gone Tarte Shape Tape. And uh, yeah, this is gonna need to be repurchased. Let's see if I can get anything out of this. Just a wee bit. Oh yeah, this is almost gone. In fact, I think I'm gonna take this Tarte Shape Tapes wand, clean it off and dig it into this one. It won't fit, so I'm just going to use this larger shape tape. It's just a little dark in color, but at least I got the under eyes. Let me see if I can get any more out of here. All right, and I think she's done. I'm just going to blend in my concealer with the same beauty blender I used for my foundation. And I have a little friend right here, don't mind him or her. Concealer's on, I'm gonna do my brows off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, brows are on. I did forget to scent my face with my Fenty Pro Filter powder in banana so i'm just gonna do that real quick usually i use a powder puff but i'm in a brush mood today I'm gonna go in with some brow gel. This is just the Revlon Colorstay Brow Fiber Filler. I just got a little powder on my brows when I set my face just now, so I'm just gonna put on the tiniest bit of brow gel. Plus it helps the hair stay upward. And that's that. Next I'm gonna set my under eyes. Actually, I'm gonna bake my under eyes so that no shadow falls beneath. So I'm just gonna put some of this Fenty Pro Filter Powder under my eyes. Like so. 
And now it's time for the fun part, shadow. Next, for priming my eyes, I'm going in with my fave, the P. Louise. I have found that, I know I rave about this all the time, but I have found that even the worst pigmented shadows look good and stay on well with this P. Louise. Um, I, I can't say enough good things about it. Um, it makes the shadow stick. It prevents it from creasing. It enhances the pigment. So yeah, this is just, it's not cheap, but it's a great investment. I'd highly recommend it. Okay, so from this Milani Gilded Twilight Palette, I'm going to go in first with Late Night Bite right here. It's kind of a taupey, smoky, uh, brownish gray. And I am getting fallout on my cheeks, so glad I put the powder under there. I'm just going in with a little bit more. And I'm just bringing it towards the center. Now I'm going to be taking some of this Good Vibes. It's kind of a dusty purple, dusty lavender color. And I'm using the same brush that I used with the other shadow I just applied. I'm just going to go back over it. And I'm going to go a little higher up than I did with the first color. I'm going to do the same on the other eye. Next, I'm taking this color here called Hot Date, and I'm going to be putting it on my lid. I did wet my brush down with some setting spray. Um, shimmers just go on better when they're wet, so. And that's a little darker than I was hoping for, so I might go back over it with a lighter shimmer, but oh, the fallout. Oh, the fallout. Look at that. And then I take my finger and can't read it without my glasses. I'm gonna get my finger and use Get the Digits. <laughs> Cute, which is this one right here. It's very shimmery and I need something to lighten up my lid just a little bit, so. Oh yeah, that's much better. That just adds a little bit of a lighter hue rather than be all purpley and smoky. Next, I'm going to highlight my brow bone. Not really a good brow bone highlighter in this palette, so I am going to take my Teddy Boy Butter London palette and use Archie on my uh, brow bone. This is kind of my go-to for my brow bone. It's just a really pretty metallic-ish white. Now I'm going to blend I'm going to make a few tweaks and I'll be right back. For eyeshadow, I'm just going to take some of this City of Stars right here. 
and I'm going to darken my outer corner a little bit. And I'm going to blend. So that's it for the eyes. I'm going to pop on liner and lashes and be right back. I decided I'm going to go in my inner corner with this um, Moonlit, and I'm going to put a little bit in the corner of my eye. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, now it's time to pop on lashes and liner. Okay, I'm indecisive today. I decided I'm gonna take this shade here, Smokin', and um, get my brush a little wet, and I'm gonna blow out my bottom lash line with this Smokin'. I'm gonna move my camera down so you can see me. And that's going on really nice. I like this one. And I got a little shadow on my eyeball. And I'm going to do the other eye. Okay, lashes are on and eyes are lined. Um, I'm, I baked um, the sides of my face where I contoured. And now I'm just going to go in with some of this Wet n Wild bronzer that I always use. And I'm just going to go down the sides of my nose with this bronzer to contour it a little bit. Okay, next is blush. I go in always with my Milani T Rose. Yes, I'm boring, I don't change up my blush routine, but once I find one I like, I really like it. So apples. And I'm just gonna blend out this bake. Next is highlighter. Again, always using my Wet n Wild highlighting powder. I'm just going to kind of blend all that together just a little bit. And next is lips. 
Okay, so everything's done but lips. Lastly, I'm going in with this Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in color. Wait for it. 15, Lover. Okay, so I've thought a purpley hue would go good with this kind of muted purple eye. This is drying out a bit. I've had it a while. Okay guys, this is the look. I tried to keep the lips matte just because I was in that kind of a mood and they're matte. So um, yeah, eyes turned out pretty well. I'm not crazy about the combination I used from this palette. Um, next time I'm definitely gonna use some of these other ones like the purples and the pinks, um, the bright purples. This is kind of a dusty taupe purple and I'm going to work after this so I didn't wanna get too glam. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please subscribe to my channel and like. And I will definitely be seeing you on the next one. Bye.